Have you often found that Word inserts too much space between lines in your paragraphs? In this video, I'm going to take you through a few strategies that you can use to improve the amount of spacing that Word's putting between lines or to troubleshoot that issue if, you, if you're having it. My name's Chris and this is Engineered Upgrade where I like to share the tools and tips and tricks to help you improve your professional life, whether that be through better reports, uh, better communications in the workplace or fixing issues that you might be having with your documents such as in this video. So we're going to dive right in that there are typically two cases where Word will put too much space between the lines. So that's either where there's too much uh, line spacing set by Word, uh, that there's uh, Word is being told by the settings in the document to make a lot of space between the lines. Uh, and I'm going to take you through in a second how to fix that. Or alternatively, it could be where uh, someone has inserted uh, different lines together and the paragraph spacing makes it look like they're all kept together even though they're not one paragraph, even though they are separate lines. So the first uh, problem here, the first description where we look at the line spacing setting in Word to select, uh, if you have this problem, if you'd like to follow along and solve this problem, select the paragraph where you're having the, uh, where the line spacing is too much, the space between the lines is too great, and then click on the paragraph settings button along the top. Then come through and find the line spacing setting. Now at the moment, I've got it to a comfortable multiple of 1.08. That's where I like to sit. But let me show you the effect, uh, the default setting that uh, some Word sometimes develops, where it's a multiple of three. And suddenly, there's way too much space between these. You can see, hopefully you can see on the screen here. There's way too much space between the lines of this paragraph. And there's no clear and obvious way of how to remove it. So if you're having this problem, uh, simply select somewhere in the paragraph, come up to the paragraph settings button, and then change it to a multiple. Like I said, I like the 1.08 setting. Now the second most common way I've seen there be uh, too much uh, space between lines in Word is when Word is treating each of the lines like a paragraph. And that's what's happening in this second, uh, I guess you have to call it a paragraph. That's what's happening in this second paragraph here. These are Word uh, as you can see from the little paragraph marks box that I've ticked, Word likes to put, uh, Word has been told to put each of these, uh, what are technically paragraphs, on a new line. So our constructed paragraph, what we're reading in the document, looks like it's uh, joined together of, of, of different sentences. However, those sentences, Word is interpreting as different paragraphs. And so now this comes about if the paragraph spacing is too tight. So we highlight all of these and the way to tell whether this is happening to you is to come up and make sure this uh, marks box is ticked, the paragraph marks box. Uh, this little box will uh, show you all the formatting that Word is applying to your document so that you can then go through and adjust that formatting as suits for your particular case. So in this case, uh, by ticking this box, we can see pretty obviously that what should be one, uh, sorry, what should be one paragraph is really consisting of a few different lines together. So the first step is to delete those lines to make it into a paragraph. So simply come up and, and press the delete key to delete the little mark and press a space so that it makes sense as a sentence. And now that we've joined it together to apply a more sensible formatting. Uh, now to come up to paragraph and you'll see that why that happened in the first place was because this spacing was set to zero. So it, it, it was a bit tough to show up uh, because that spacing was set to zero, I'll show you an example from this paragraph where the spacing is set to six. So our problematic paragraph, come back up here, paragraph settings, and make sure you've got the line spacing set to 1.08 or whichever multiple is consistent throughout your document. And the before and after we set to six again, six point. Click OK. And I know nothing changed there, but now if we start to write the next paragraph we know that everything's going to appear okay. I did another video about how to set up a Word document uh, for professional reports where these things don't happen if you stick to using the styles that are defined when you first set up a template. I I've seen it a lot where uh, engineers and young consultants who don't understand how to use styles will spend a lot of time, they'll waste a lot of time coming through a document and formatting using these paragraph settings or using the different settings uh, over here about font size and style and, and paragraph and bullet list and those sorts of things where 
If you apply a style to your document, if you set up your styles and apply them consistently, you're not going to face that problem of uh, inconsistencies throughout the document. And particularly, I, I prepare reports like this for consulting purposes all the time. It looks very unprofessional to a client if your styling, if your formatting isn't consistent. So the easiest way to overcome that is to set up styles. And I've done another video about how I've set up those styles to help you build consistent reports. So that's how Engineers Upgrade can help you. If you hit the like button down below, you'll no, YouTube will notify you of videos that are related like this that will help improve your professional uh, reports, improve your professional look. And if you further hit subscribe to Engineered Upgrade in particular and you watch our videos, I'm going to be walking you through how to get some of those benefits that I've learned over the years as a consultant to help improve the, your professional appearance and the way you communicate. My name's Chris, and that's what I like to share on Engineered Upgrade. So hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.